When doing surgery, sometimes we need to cut through large blood vessels. This transfixing ligature is perfect for big vessels with thick walls. It begins by taking a full thickness perpendicular bite into the vessel, slightly offset to one side. The smaller portion of the vessel is encircled with a simple throw. The free ends are then wrapped around the opposite side of the vessel. A double throw is tied and pulled tight to constrict the artery. Then square knots are added to keep everything in place. This ligature is often used near where the vessel is being cut because it has no option of slipping off the cut edge, resulting and internal bleeding after surgery. It's also essential that this ligature is not placed by itself and that a circumferential ligature is placed beforehand to prevent any bleeding as the needle goes through the artery. Braided suture material is the best option for ligating vessels because it has higher knot security. For transfixing ligatures, the best option would be a braided material that's coated to make it smooth. This will minimize the trauma to the vessel as it passes through. The use of an atraumatic suture needle will also help to minimize damage to the vessel so that it's less likely to burst or leak out after surgery.